VIP World logo. Welcome everyone to our third VIP World Assisted Tech lesson. My name is Ali Higazi and I'm the Digital Marketing Executive. Present today from the VIP World team, we have Ishan, who is the Chief Designer Officer and Founder of VIP World. Um, and we have also our Assistive Tech Tutor, Nicole Moore, who will be leading today's session on how to navigate WhatsApp uh, with a screen reader. Uh, this is, again, an interactive workshop where we will give the chance to participate within the lesson. Likewise, if you have any further questions, please do let us know at the end of the session. Uh, so let's begin. Over to you, Nicole. Thanks very much, Ali. And uh, yeah, welcome to Assistive Tech Lesson 3 on WhatsApp. So today we're going to go through WhatsApp, which is a fairly popular messaging app. Uh, we'll talk about what it is and then we'll have plenty of time for demonstration and uh, questions as well, because this is a pretty popular app. So you might know a bit about it already. And so the objective of today's session is to give you uh, uh, go back over the basics, but also give you some um, hints and tips for using WhatsApp with a screen reader. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating with VoiceOver on an iPhone, um, but please know that WhatsApp is also available on Android and you can use it with TalkBack screen reader. Um, but yeah, today we'll be going through how to use it, particularly with VoiceOver. Um, a lot of the functionality and uh, swiping and tapping that I'll do will be the same for Android, but there may be a few small um, differences as we go. Uh, so we'll do the demos and then we'll have some uh, time for questions at the end. So let's get into what is WhatsApp? Well, essentially it's a messaging app. So you can send messages, whether it be text or audio, and you can also make voice or video calls with it. All you need to set it up is a cell or mobile phone number. Uh, if you haven't set up WhatsApp already, when you download it from the App Store, it'll ask you to enter your um, phone number and then you'll be sent a confirmation code. It's like a security code that verifies um, or helps you verify that this is your particular number. You'll put that security code into a text field um, and then WhatsApp will ask you a few things like what you want your display name to be. Um, and this can be your actual name or whatever you would like to, however you'd like to be known on um, WhatsApp. And then it'll also ask permission to send you um, things like notifications, to use uh, the microphone. So for things like voice calls or recording audio messages, and you also need to give it permission to use the camera um, for either taking photos or sending video uh, or making video calls. Sorry. You can do one on one messaging with WhatsApp, but what's really great about it is that group messaging is really easy. So if you've got, say, a group of friends, or family members might be across the world, like mine are, um, you can set up a group and communicate that way. So uh, you add your members um, to a group and then, yeah, all the messages go to everyone. But we'll talk through groups a bit later. The final thing with setup of WhatsApp is that you can um, add your contacts. So the contacts that are stored in your phone um, you can add those people who use WhatsApp. So WhatsApp will ask for permission to um, add your contacts from your phone. And all of those people who use WhatsApp already, you'll get a list of those people um, and uh, those contacts will display for you in um, the WhatsApp app itself. Uh, so yeah, and you can do lots of um, different things with your messages, but we will go through that a little bit later on. Um, any questions or comments so far, just with that summary before we get into a demo? No, nope. sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. So the WhatsApp app is, 
is quite a standard app as far as the voiceover screen reader goes. So you've got um, your sort of, could I say predictable screen layout where you've got um, headings and there's also five tabs at the bottom of the screen. Um, and so they are the main tabs. Uh, so five different tabs that you can navigate between and then the, the part of the screen where you would um, interact with is sort of from the top down. So just um, to, to be aware that you've got that bottom bar. Most of your time will probably be spent in the chats tab or in the settings tab. Uh, but yeah, there are a few others which we can go through. So I'm going to start sharing my screen. Um, uh, I'll just need someone to enable screen sharing for me or host permissions. Yep, you're done. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, just bear with me and I'll plug my phone in. I'll also share my audio. Um, from my phone, so you'll be able to hear the voiceover. Um, Five twenty PM. Okay. Edit button. So Mobile data. Control center. Got to change the mode. Screen. Hearing. Wallet. Voice mail. Notes. Button. Torch. Switch button. Screen mirroring. Button. Screen mirroring. Heading. Zoom call more. Button. Zoom call more. Selected. Zoom call more. Button. Okay. Zoom call more. Button. And we'll just Torch. slow the speech button. down a little bit. WhatsApp. Edit. Button. Headings. Words. Speaking rate. Seven. Six. Six. Forty-five. Fifty percent. Chats. Heading. How is that speed? Edit. Button. Chats. New chat. Button. Okay. And the volume of, of the device is okay? Yeah. Good. Perfect. All right. So... We are on the chats screen um, and this is probably the screen you'll spend most of your time on WhatsApp in. Um, but just so you know, the five tabs at the bottom. So I'm going right to the bottom of my screen um, on the newer phones. If you've got a phone with a home button, you want to um, tap sort of just above the home button. So starting Tab bar, calls, tap status, tab. Starting from the left, you've got your status tab. Calls, calls. tab, two of five, camera, camera, tab, three of five, selected, chats, one item, and you'll tab, notice it said four of selected five, chats, settings, tab, and settings. So they're the five main ones um, that we will go through eventually as we walk through the app. Um, the status one. Camp calls, status, tab. Now status so you Privacy. can um, as well as putting your name into whatsapp you can change your status like some people sometimes have like a coffee cup emoji and let's chat or you can put any message that you want people to see um, in this status screen um, you don't need to change it you can also um, say whether you're available or away um, if you would like to do that as well um, yeah, some people use it, some don't. So it's just a personal preference, whether you want people to know where you are and what you're up to, or just having your name um, is enough. Tap chat, camp calls, tab. The call two tab will list all your kind of recent calls. Um, so this is calls that you have made and received. Chats. One. Um, you can go there to, to view the list of them like you would in your phone app. Camera, tab. The camera Back, app, which button. is the third one. So this is where you can um, take a photo or look at your camera roll um, to share photos on WhatsApp. Um, there are a couple of ways to share photos. So I don't tend to use this tab, but just know that it is available. Um, that's where you can go to select a photo to share it. Photo slash video library um, camera chooser. Back facing. Back button. Just go back. Clear button. Tap chats, one item. And tap to the chats tab. All right, so when you've got an item in these tabs, it might be a missed call or a new chat message. It'll say 
uh, how many items you've got. So selected me, chats, one item, tab. I've got one Four. item and that means that I've got one item unread. So in this chats section, edit button, we've got an edit button right at the top. Um, we've got our chats heading chats heading new chat button we've got a new chat and we can go here to start a new chat with somebody or if we've already got a chat happening we can just keep swiping to the right search search field we can use the search field if we've got multiple like lots of different people that we're chatting with and we want to search by a, a name archived chats Five, or we can just keep swiping. Archived chats are kind of like deleted chats, but they, they don't go away. So you can access them again from an archive um, button. Broadcast lists button. Broadcast lists we'll talk about later. New group button. A new group. That's if you want to set up a group of people to chat with. Plus three, four, okay. six, one, nine, seven, seven, eight, two. All right. So this is the beginning or the, the first chat in my list. Now it read out a phone number because I don't have this particular phone number saved in my phone contacts. So when you don't have it saved, it's always going to read out the person's phone number. If I swipe. This is me, Nicole. Via yeah. That was my phone number. <laughs> yes. Sorry. I, I, I did a demo message with you a bit earlier so we could um, okay. demonstrate. Um, we've. <laughs> Plus VIP world. Then got the Me VIP world group uh, and we will talk through. If I just keep swiping to the right. Our place attention. Jamie I've Nicole. Got a couple more Apple groups. Link. S Holmes. Mr. Vo Ishan Ya. Message. Okay. And then you'll notice it said Ishan Ya. This is because I have Ishan saved in my contacts. Um, and so it's just saying his name for me. Um, any questions so far? Nope. All right. Edit. So this is, um, Chat, new, uh, new group button. where we can go into a message now. Plus three, four, six messages and calls. Are okay. So now I've gone into a particular chat and I get, I land on a, a, a info message. Messages and calls are end to end encrypted. Messages no one calls. outside of this chat, not even WhatsApp, can read or listen to them. Double tap for more information. Okay, so I can get more information, but basically these um, chats or calls are secure in WhatsApp. Your message. Hi, Ali. This is a test slash demo message for the assistive tech lesson. 4.54 p.m. Okay, Read so you'll, by recipient. you'll notice Stard. this is a message that I sent to Ali and it said your message. If Ali sent me a message, it would at the moment um, come up as Ali's phone number first and then the message because he's not saved in my contacts. If he was saved, um, it would just read Ali and then his message. It also gave me quite a bit of information after the message the time that I sent the message and also whether Ali has read the message or not. So if Ali hadn't read the message, it would say delivered to recipient. Uh, but yeah, it does say that he's read it. So I, I know uh, voiceover is telling me that he has um, opened the message and seen it. Um, I would like to touch on a couple of shortcuts, particularly for voiceover that you can use. So the rotor, um, this is like a shortcut dial on um, iPhones with voiceover enabled. In WhatsApp, it's quite powerful. So it allows you to, instead of going into like an edit section and then deleting messages, it allows you to do things on the fly. So I take two fingers, put them on the screen and I dial them either to the left or to the right. And then I'll have um, some different shortcut options come up. Characters. Okay, so you had characters there. If I f swipe, oh sorry, dial back to the left. Actions. I've got actions. This is like a shortcuts, yeah, like a menu. 
So when I flick up or down, you'll hear some options. So right now I'm still focused on the message um, that I sent to Ali. I'm going to flick down. Unstar. Okay, so I can unstar. We'll talk about starring and unstarring in a moment. Reply. I can reply. Forward. I can forward the message to somebody else. Copy. I can copy it. Info. I can get information and that's going to be like when the message was sent and whether it has um, been read and all that sort of thing. Delete. I can delete the message. Activate. Default. Or I can activate it. So these are activated when you just double tap. So I dialed my rotor to actions. I swipe up or down. When I hear the option that I want, I double tap. So um, for instance, I could reply, I would swipe down to reply and double tap um, and a, another message box would come up. So really handy way of dealing with messages um, just as you read them. If you need to delete a message, swipe um, or dial to that actions menu and then flick up or down till you hear delete and double tap. Um, now with this message, it said unstar. Starring messages is like marking them for yourself to come back to. So you might receive like lots of links and information on WhatsApp and you think, oh, I'd love to save that. It might be in a really big um, group conversation. Um, and what you can do is star the message. Then if we come out of this uh, conversation with Ali. So I'm going Chats, to go back button. to the top left of my screen. The um, easiest way to do that with voiceover is a four finger uh, tap. So I'm uh, placing four uh, fingers on the screen. Yep, so we have a yeah, comment, Nicole, sorry. Uh, question. So, uh, um, yeah, so Ali messaged you and he's not saved in your contact list. So can you save his number from, from this point? Yes, I can. Yep. Um, thank you for bringing that up. So before we talk about starring, let's save Ali's contact. Profile picture button. All right. So from the, the back button, I can swipe to the right. Plus three. And there's Ali's number. I can uh, double tap on that. Plus. Plus. And it brings up another screen. So I can swipe to the right. Contact info heading. And I've got contact info heading. Okay. Profile picture. M Tilda Ali Hegazi. All right. And there's his profile picture and then his name. Message. But video call button. I've got the message and video call. So all I'm doing is swiping right. Voice call button. I can do a voice call. Plus three. And there's four, his number again. About. Hey, the create new contact button. And create new contact. Add to existing or contact. Or add to existing. So if I had already saved Ali's contact with another number or an email address, I can add to existing. Media. Add, create uh, new we contact. We are going to create new. Cancel button. All right. I'm on a cancel button. If I swipe right. New contact heading. I've got a new contact heading. Save button. I've got a save button. If I keep swiping right. Name. Name. We just need to swipe past that label. First name, text field. And we've got the first name field. I can double tap with one finger. First name, text field. And it should have said is editing. Na first name, text field. Text field is editing. First name, there we go. character. Not sure why that took a few tries. Okay, so that said text field is editing. So I now know that my keyboard is, um, is visible. So I'm going to type. Z A A L L Y Y. You can type this on your keyboard or you could dictate um, if if you would like to. And the dictation is you do a two finger double tap. You say what you want to say and then two finger double tap to end the dictation. That's really handy, um, provided that you're not in a really noisy environment. Um, so, yeah, I've just typed in A L Y for Ali. Now going, um, I can go back to the top of my screen. That's one thing I always like to do so that I know exactly where I am. 
cancel but new contacts save name text field okay, so is got editing first name. Cap clear text button i can clear that if i'd like but i'm going to keep swiping right last name text field last name as well i can enter that phone all right mobile button phone spain all right it's giving me the the country country code plus 34 code. text phone 61977 okay there's ali's number whatsapp account job title okay and i can add all sorts of other information um to ali if i had more than one phone number for ali whatsapp i phone. can go back to where it said country phone 619 con spain mobile. mobile button and i can change the label cancel label done button so i'm just swiping right on this screen selected mobile mobile is selected home but if i had work other iphone main other labels that i need to use iPhone. i can work. choose Home. one of these selected done and then button. just choose done done okay text so out of that label screen. editing ali Ca cancel i'm going button. to go back to the top i'm on the cancel button and if i swipe right i need to get to the save button new contact heading save button and double tap save ali back button okay so it said ali back button contact yes. info head garlic bread I'm on the contact info screen, so I just need to go back one step to Ali's Ali, back uh, button. chat with me. Ali. One, back bu profile picture. Okay, button. Got his profile picture. Ali, last seen today at 5.30 p.m. Head video call. Button, voice call. Here. Messages and calls are end to your message. And my message Hi, Ali. to Ali. This is a test slash demo mess. Okay. Um, so that is saving a contact um, that will also be saved in your phone contacts if you've got them synced with WhatsApp as well. Message smiling face with halo right. 520 p.m. And Ali and sent Ali. me a message. So notice message, how it says message smiling face message, with smiling face ah. with halo. Um, that's how I know that it's Ali's message to know that it's mine. Your message. It says your message. All right. So uh, any questions about adding a contact? No, did it clear? No. Did we have another member join or not? Uh, no. No. Okay. No worries. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to star this message from Ali because I'd like to refer to it later. Message. Smiling face with halo. 520 okay. p.m. So I'm on the message. I'm going to, I'm already in the actions menu in the rotor, so I don't need to dial it. I can just swipe down with one star. finger and star it. Okay. Your message. Smile. Okay. And now I can come out of Ali's conversation. One back button. Just hit the back button at the top left of the screen and double one. tap it. Edit button. Now, um, I can tab go to my settings, settings. Tab. settings, heading. So I'm on the settings tab, which is the bot, the tab on the bottom, right? Nicole Moore available. Okay, we've just got button. my account information there. QR code, starred messages button. And the third option in this screen is starred messages. If I double tap message, smiling face settings, back All button. Right, so I've just gone back to the top of the screen. Sometimes it doesn't always uh, put you in the, in the, uh, first item on the screen. So that's why I keep doing that. Start messages. I swipe right. Edit button. I can edit these. Message. Smiling face with halo. Okay, so there's my start message PM. from Ali. Your message. Hi, Ali. This is a test slash and demo message. Also my message to Ali. So it's a really good way of saving messages if you find that you've just got too many messages in a chat and you need to clear the chat. Um, Settings. If we go back. back button. Setting. I'm going to go back to the start chats. messages tab chats one item tab. error explore edit so but new chat button um do we want to go through setting up a new chat from scratch um yeah that, that as well and and, and I, I think one of the other important aspects would be um uh, sending pictures or uh, attachments. Yes, definitely. 
a right. new chat. So to do a new uh, chat with somebody. New chat. New I chat. I double tap the heading. new chat button. So I've got a new chat heading now. Cancel. Search. Search. Now it's going to go through the people that I frequently chat with. Section on index. New group. Oh, new contact button. I can choose either a new group or a new contact. Frequently contact Apple link. Ali. Hey there. Okay. Now um, I can double tap on uh, any of these names. So I'm going to tap on Ali again. One back button. And it's brought me to Ali's chat. Now here I can either swipe through all the items on the screen or I can do a four finger tap at the bottom of the screen. Dictate button. And it's brought up the keyboard, so actually it's probably better to swipe. One profile picture on the top. Ali, video, voice call, messages and your message. Hi, message, share media. Now button. when you get past all the messages, you've got share media. Stickers and GIFs. Button. Stickers and GIFs. These aren't very accessible at the moment with a screen reader. Camera button. We've got a camera button. So this is where we could go to uh, send or share pictures. Compose message. Text field is editing. And Character then mode. Insertion point. The compose message text field. And that says is editing. So I know that my keyboard is available um, and I can start typing a message. The other thing I can do if I swipe once more to the right voice message button is dictate or record a voice message. And this is an actual voice message um, that, yeah, you can record in real time. It's really good audio quality. Um, so some people, especially um, VIPs, do like to use this audio recording um, capability because you can just say what you want to say rather than typing or dictating. Um, but yeah, the same um, with, with this text field, you can use the on-screen keyboard or dictate, or if you do have a Bluetooth keyboard, you can type um, your messages that way as well. All right, so now to sharing, uh, sharing media. One, back button. I'm gonna go back to my chat. One, edit button. There are a couple of ways um, you can share media to WhatsApp. The easiest way I personally find is Doc, to go to phone, mail, Safari, the particular app or site Safari, or thing address, that I want to share. Travel hands so in this case, I've got the Travel Hands website loaded in Safari. And down the bottom of the Safari screen, so say I wanted to share this page with a friend, um, Toolbar. Down the Show bottom of the screen, I've got a toolbar, and one of the options in that toolbar is share. Tabs. But tab. Show bookmark. Share button. There's the share button. If I double tap. Travel hands. Now I've got a whole list of different options. The first few are the sort of people that I regularly contact. Cla J Paul. But if we Katie, Apple link. Helen. Message. Swipe. Place. Past Jennifer Moon. Airdrop. Messages, mail, button. So you'll notice it's saying messages, mail, WhatsApp, button. WhatsApp. So I, I double tap on WhatsApp to select it. Search, search All field. Right, then I have a list of um, groups or contacts where I can send this to. Cancel, but frequently contacted, heading, Apple link, Ali, button. All right, we'll select Ali again. Um, but I could send it to say VIP world or the process ex is exactly the same no matter who you're uh, sharing Ali, with. Button. All right, so I double tap on Ali's name. Selected, Ali. Now, if you've got a load of contacts and chats, it's easy again, rather than swiping through, to tap the screen, the bottom of the screen with four fingers and it take you, takes you to, or it should take you to the next, next button. button. There it goes. That's the very last item on the screen. So I double tap next. Two text field is editing HTTPS colon slash slash. All right. That was a bit of a, a strange message from voiceover. It said two, but it should say uh, compose message. Two Ali. So I've swiped to the left and it says two Ali. So that's confirmed that that's who I want to send the message to. Now text field is editing. HTTPS I've got colon a slash. text field and so it's reading out the link um, that I'm going to share. There's also like a preview that comes up if you swipe right from this text field. Travel hands, travel hands is a convenient 
inexpensive and safe service to match visually impaired people, VIP and volunteers in connecting and walking on journeys. Okay, so that's the first um, sort of sentence of the Travel Hands site. I can add some text into this um, field if I want to. Text field. So at the moment, I am... New line. H, um, A, new line. I'm positioned at the beginning of the field before the link. So on the line above the link, if you like. I can type there or I can double tap on the text field to advance to the end of it. Insertion point at end. So it said insertion point at end, so I'm at the end of the link, I could type after it, but it is quite easy just to, to type your content before. Insertion point at start. Um, in the name of time, I'm not going to type anything at the moment, but yeah, if I wanted to say, for instance, hi Ali, here's a link to Travel Hands, that's where I put it. I'm going to swipe right with one finger. Travel Hands, Travel Hands, remove link preview. I can remove Button. this preview if I just want to send the link. Ninja prediction. All right, now we've got link. some predictions. Um, and what I'm looking for now is the send button. Trap text to Ali. And it is um, at the top of the screen. So I'm swiping from right to left. Send button. And there's the send button. Uh, if I double tap. Send. Address. Tra okay, and the message is sent. After it's sent, it will take me back to the Safari website. So I'm just going to bring up the app switcher. App switcher, Safari, app, WhatsApp. And flick to the right to the previous app that I was using, which is WhatsApp. VIP what WhatsApp, edit, button, error explorer, ed, chat, new, search, archive, right. board, new group, Ali. Your message, link, travel hands. Travel hands is a convenient, inexpensive and safe service to match. And that's my message to Ali that's been um, sent. If I go into that conversation, double tap with one finger. Messages and calls are end. Your me mess link, travel hands, travel hands and if you is listen a convenient, to all this content, inexpensive we'll know and safe service to match visually impaired people, and VIP and seen. volunteers in connecting and walking on journeys. Together, https slash slash www.travelhands.co.uk slash agree forward oh, link it... travel hands. Travel Hands is a convenient, inexpensive and safe service to match visually impaired people, VIP and volunteers in connecting and walking on journeys. Together, https slash slash www.travelhands.co.uk slash. Okay, and for some reason it's not telling me whether it's red or not. For share media been button. Seen, but it should be. I think that's a bug in the latest um, iOS version. But yeah, it should say whether it's delivered and what time. Um, One, back. Yeah, so that's sharing websites and it's um, a similar thing with um, photos as well. So you can go to your camera roll, uh, select the photo, hit the share button, choose WhatsApp um, and then yeah, share it that way with whichever contact. Uh, any questions or comments? Um, I I want I was curious to know how do you, I mean, do VIP uh, use smileys? Yeah, that's a great question. Yes, so emojis, um, so smileys and all sorts of things are accessible. So they are described um, when you bring up the emoji keyboard. One um, back. Profile Let picture, me voice me compose camera, can compose that. message. So I'm going text to field. the compose message field, double tap. Compose message, and text right field. down the bottom of the keyboard. Space. Numbers. Um, sort of, whoops, next to the letters, space bar. emoji, button. Oh, sorry, below the numbers and letters button. Emoji, button. Is emoji. If I double tap. Next keyboard, English Australia. Okay, now I need to go Bat. up to the text field. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go to a category. So down the bottom, I've got a list of different categories of emojis. Travel and Just travel and an place example. activity. Ca food and drink selected. Animals and nature category. Right, animals and nature is selected. Smilers and people Smiley category people. selected. Smilers and people category selected. Now I go up to the text field. Smi smiling face with search emoji. Text field. What I can do here is search emoji. So if I don't know what 
kind of face I'm looking for, I can type in smile and it will come up with all the, the smiley faces. That's really, um, uh, makes it really efficient to use these. But if I swipe to the right. Smilers and people, smiling face with sunglasses, smiling 62. Smiling face with sunglasses, if I keep swiping. Disguised face with glasses. Disguised Fake face. nose and moustache, 63. Yep, so it really gives quite a good description of these. Grinning face with starry eyes, 64. Grinning face. Party face with a party horn. Hat smirking face, 66. Party face with a party horn. Hat and confetti, 65. And all I do to add that to my message is double tap on it. Party face with a party horn. Hat and confetti. Okay, so you noticed there that my speech um, was really high pitched and that tells me that that has been entered into my message. Um, and then to get out of the emojis keyboard, it can get a little bit tricky, but if you find that selected um, smilers and people the list cat of categories and then sort of move your finger down activity, activity category. category travel objects symbols flags next okay. dictate next keyboard next english keyboard. australia we just button. want to type on the uh, uh, tap on the next keyboard button to bring us back emoji to the standard keyboard now in my text field Forward button. So I'm Shared, just compose tapping message. above the keyboard to get to the text field. I can Stick use compose. the rotor to confirm what I've um, typed in there. So compose message. Text field is editing. Bat. Party face with the party horn. So I'll put a bat in Hat and well, confetti. Anyway. Character mode. Insertion point at end. Okay, insertion point is at end, and I can use the rotor to go by character. Headings. Characters. Okay, characters. So now I can swipe up and it will go back through um, the characters or items in my message. Party face with the party horn. Hat and confetti. Bat. So that's a really good way of reviewing exactly what um, is in your text field because sometimes you can it's really easy to inadvertently bump an emoji and have something really random in there um, without realising. So yeah, always good to review before you hit the send button. But yeah, great question, Ishan. Very interesting. Very interesting to see how, how you manage um, the whole. Yeah, the rotor is really powerful. It can take a little bit of practice, but once you, it's like dialing two fingers on the screen. Once you master it, it's so convenient rather than having to go to like edit menus and try to find what you're looking for. It's just a simple swipe up or down and double tap. <clears throat> and the voice message? Nicole, is it just going to the microphone or the record, press it and just send the message? Yeah, so with VoiceOver, um, you, so you can either double tap and hold uh, and while you're holding your finger down, that's when you record your message. As soon as you lift your finger, the message is sent. Um, but there is another way if you double tap and hold, holding your finger down for about two seconds and then swiping up the screen a little bit, it kind of locks the, the um, message in the record button so you can lift your finger. And then once you're done speaking, find the send button just by swiping um, across the screen. So yeah, that double tap and hold and then swipe up um, screen is dimmed. really handy. Um, but yeah, it can take a little while Shed to media. master how far you need to swipe up the screen to it. It'll say, um, voice recording locked. And that's how, you know, you can lift your finger. Cause if you're recording like a five minute message, it, it can get uncomfortable to hold your finger down for that long. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit different to just the, um, standard double tap of your buttons. Yeah. I have another also question. If I may ask, yeah, um, sometimes you know when a picture goes through to a chat or a group chat, you know, sometimes your gallery, it automatically goes to your gallery and that could fill kind of storage. Yes. Um, is there maybe uh, a way in the settings? There to, certainly to, is. Yeah. That's a really good one, actually. So one, back. I think by default, one. things are saved to your Ali. gallery. Tab like bar. You say, settings. Yeah, it can take up a lot of storage on your phone. Settings, um, Nicole. So I've just gone to the settings um, tab. QR code, but starred messages, WhatsApp web slash death account, but chats, button, 
notification, storage and data, but help, button, tell a friend, help, no chats, button, settings. chat Please. wallpaper, but saved camera roll, yeah. switch button. So in off. your chat settings, you've got um, save to camera roll. If that is on, um, then it's going to save all the, the photos and videos that re you receive in WhatsApp to your camera. So it's, it's a toggle button, so we can double tap on alert and it's now the save on. incoming media setting and it gives me an alert cancel button i'm just going to cancel that saved camera roll switch button off but yeah it, it's a simple um toggle to toggle that on or off as you need it um, when you do receive a photo again you can use the rotor to swipe um swipe down on the photo and it will have an option to save it so you can still save individual photos to your camera roll just by using the rotor function. So yeah, dialing it to actions and then flicking down with one finger to your here's um, save item to camera roll and double tap. Um, if we've got a little bit more time, another cool feature of WhatsApp is that you can set up um, sort of customized uh, message tones or vibrations for the different chats you have. Settings, so back just button, really quickly, setting, chats, I've button, back to my settings, T chats, storage and just data, tap chats, one item, so tap, back to chats, new chat, chat, search, archive, to VIP world. new, Ali, error, exp VIP world. Now, replying to a message I, one. I, for, ex for example, would like VIP world notifications to sound different to all my other notifications. Group icon button. So VIP I can world participant. Uh, double tap on where it says participants or VIP, VIP world, and it sort of gives group me info, more information world, about the group, back. including who's in it. Group um, info, sort of profile things. picture, so image, profile a group picture. of people. All I'm doing here is swiping right. Change group icon, group subject, group description, media, links, starred messages, chat search, mute, custom tone, default, glass, button. All right, so where it says custom tone, it's my default tone, which is the glass tone. But if I went and double tapped on that, Cancel button. Um, I get a list of all of my different tones and vibration patterns I can have. So this is really good to know um, sort of who's just sent you a message, um, you know, by selecting a different tone to the, the standard one. Uh, it can be really useful. And you can do the same thing with your um, vibration patterns as well. So um, yeah, really handy if you're in several different groups and things. Cancel button. To, to do Custom that. tone, saved camera roll, um, default button. Yeah, so with your groups as well, you can customize which groups are saving to your camera roll and which are not. So if there is a particular one you want to save all the media from, then you can um, always do that. Encryption, message 23 participants, okay. heading. And then just in VIP world, we get more information about the participants um, and we also get their phone numbers as well. If, um, for instance, you, you were added to a group that you didn't necessarily want to be added to, if we keep swiping Sir, you, Ali, Isha, all pl the members, tilde, pl Gary, pl tilde, plus, tilde, pl pl 30, ex clear chat, okay. export 30 more. Um, it's saying it doesn't display all the participants in this list, but there are 13 more. So the, there are a few options after this. Export chat I button. can export the chat. So that's to... Um, like if I wanted to save it to my computer or something like that, I could um, send it. Clear chat. I can button. clear the chat. So if I've just got so many messages, I can't get through them all. I can clear the chat. Exit group. Or button. exit group. Um, and so that would be the button I double tap to to leave the group. Report group button. Oh, I can report. Created the 9th of October, 2018. And it just gives me information on when the, this group was created. Created the. All right, so yeah, this is really powerful stuff. And um, yeah, WhatsApp is, is great. It takes a little bit to, to know where everything is, especially the, all the group settings and um, what is where, but uh, yeah, really, really good app for communication. VIP world, back button, VIP world, back button. All right, so any 
Oh, questions no. there. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Gaddy, if you have any questions. Yeah. No, no, I'll be right. I, I would have to, I to learn a long way. Oh, sorry, no. We're just looking up. I don't know. Put the um, garlic bread on. Yeah. I'm trying for it not to get too far oh. burnt because. Well, I mean, I, I, I um. And I take with that nice. Salt. I'm good with it. So maybe well, I can. Yeah. Post. Go on. Okay. So we can kind of end this. Well, um. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you so much, much, Nicole, for, for leading this session. Uh, just as this is going to be a recording, um, everyone can find it on the YouTube channel, VIP World Services. Uh, also, if you have any other inquiries, do reach out to our socials at VIP World Services or via our email that can be found at our site at www.vipworldservices.com. Um, again, to people who are watching, Please maybe write in the comments if anything comes up we haven't maybe touched on. And hope we will have this kind of assistive tech session next week as well, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Uh, UK time. And yes, so thank you so much. Screen for demo. Perfect. Thank you, Nicole. It was wonderful, really.